Hi guys, Omar here with the Samsung Galaxy Tab S. Now today's video is just going to be about how to create a new user on your Tab S. The first thing you do is you go into your settings menu, the device tab on the top there, and then users down the bottom there. And then you'll be presented with this menu here. I've got myself here, and then I've already created a profile called Kids. It's a restricted profile. And the way you do it is you select this uh, plus sign, and then it will give you the option of creating a new user with the same restrictions as yourself, i.e. no restrictions, you can do anything you want. Or you can have a user which has a uh, restricted profile, which is uh, uh, you can't uninstall and things like that. So uh, this one that I have here, it's a kids one that I've done. Now, once you create it, you can select the profile itself and change the name and whatnot and set a, uh, a picture for that. Uh, of course you have all the checkboxes on the right and the names on the left and these are all the applications that you have on your tablet now what will happen is that any applications that you want for example here Fruit Ninja um, you all you have to do is just check it and then it will show up on the new profile once everything's done you don't need to do anything um, all, all there's no OK button or confirm or anything like that all uh, you'll need to do is just come out like that and then it will show on there now if I just show you here if I just lock the screen turn it back on as you can see there on the top right you have two options here myself or kids now if you go into the kids one it will change and hopefully that isn't too bright and then once you swipe over it will basically have nothing on there apart from whatever you selected. If you go into the apps, as you can see here, it's got some apps that were mandatory. Now, even though they're mandatory, you can't actually do anything. So, for example, if I select Google, it says that um, I don't have permission to use Google search. Now, let me just show you here. Now, if I, for example, this is Fruit Ninja, and obviously anybody on this profile will be able to play Fruit Ninja, but if I highlight that, uninstall it there, although and it, it, it will say okay that's fine now although it will show it as gone here it won't actually be uninstalled so if I just come out of that and go back into my own now if I get into that and then go into my games as you can see Fruit Ninja is still there and I can still obviously play it so just keep that in mind um, apart from that, that's about it guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share. If, give me a thumbs up if you like the video. See you in the next one.